Well, hello there, and how is everybody today? You're all good. I am so glad to hear that. And me? Oh yes, I am doing very well. Still vertical, still above the grass. It's always good news, isn't it? And where am I? Well, I'm in my simulator, and I have got some news, some progress for you. Let me tell you what I've done so far. Now, Flight 1 is the computer that runs all of this. That's the one I've just gone and redone. I've got the new motherboard in it, processor, graphic cards. I've got all of these screens aligned. I've actually managed to get all of the SIOC, that's that little uh, program from Open Cockpits that allows all of these modules to connect to PMDG. So I got the basic all in on flight one. I also loaded in, since I was starting fresh and clean, with the latest 5.2 version of P3D, all the latest versions of everything. And then I put in just a half a dozen or so uh, airport sceneries that I'm going to be using in the next two or three weeks for videos once I get everything done. Then I went on to the second computer and it occurred to me, well, I should try to upgrade it from the 5.0 to 5.2. But you know, it kept crashing again, crashing to desktop each time. I followed all the instructions. I don't know why, but it did it. So I decided to do the same thing that I did with Flight One, except no new motherboards or processor. It's still the same computer. And it's running these three large monitors in the background. But <clears throat> what I did is I wiped everything out, reinstalled Windows, Windows 10 with all the latest patches and everything else, and I was quite surprised by a result. I had all three monitors plugged in to Flight 2, and whereas before, when I tried to do this, you know, when was it? Uh, last year at this time? It would not run all three monitors in UHD, that is at the full resolution uh, or of whatever the UHD is. That's the 4K. And these monitors are capable of 4K. But when I started it, I was thinking, there's something wrong here. This doesn't look quite the same. And it wasn't. It was in 4K. I had all three monitors registered as 4K monitors and Windows 10 was using it. So, I don't know how I did it. I wish I knew. But it was from a clean installation with all three monitors plugged in. Perhaps that was the clue. Whereas before, I had the installation already in and then I plugged in the additional monitors afterwards and of course that didn't work. So I ended up with all three screens in 4K. So I thought, right, good, we're off to a good start. Next, of course, I had to rearrange the monitors because the left and the right monitors here, they are lower than the center monitor, which I did. And then I installed P3D version 5.2, worked like a charm, went in, no problems. I think I probably had a, I may have had a scenery or something like that that 5.2 didn't like. 
and so it, it didn't upgrade very nicely, whatever the cause is. But now I am actually running P3D version 5.2 and today I just finished putting in the, uh, the view group. And a view group allows me to use all three monitors as though it were one. And I'll show you here how the settings are. Th these are the settings. This is what I did. I have up here allow zoom and in the grid setup you can click edit and then it brings you up into this and I have these values put in here with grid size zeros down here. Auto detect, yes. So that's how I've saved it. And I saved this as Flight 2, which is the name of that computer, the second computer that shows the external views. And then you simply click OK. And it's done. And then when you want to move, everything will be proportionate. Now, where am I at this particular point? Well, I'm just at the default scenery for East Midlands. And I'm going to shift the airport around a little bit so here you can see how the scenery works and i've got smooth smooth scenery although i'll i will say this It took a bit of a frame hit, as you can well imagine. When I had just the one monitor, I was, because I had this set for 50 hertz on each of the screens, because that's the resolution of this camera, 50 hertz. I'm using this at the PAL format, which is 50. And so I had to set the screens to be 50 hertz not 60 which is the how they normally come but 50 and then I don't get those wavy lines and then of course I had to tell the Windows operating system that I was also wanting 50 Hertz so I've switched everything down to manage to be 50 Hertz and it doesn't look bad at all I'm just going to give it a quick move so you can see a bit more here see it moves very nicely very smoothly autumn colors as Ryanair 186 parked at the active runway So, I have success. I had 49 to 50 frames per second. I, when I went into the settings for uh, P3D, I limited the frame rate to 50. I didn't want it to go above that uh, since the uh, resolution of the screens were only 50 as well so I limited it to 50 not on so I didn't put it unlimited and I got with just the one screen 49 49.5 49.6 in other words I was pushing the 50 but once I switched it to the group setting of a group of three then the frame rate has now come down to 21 22 so 
It took a bit of a frame hit, but it looks pretty darn good. I'm going to try it out at this and see what happens. And here we are at East Midlands. I've loaded in the East Midlands airport scenery. So you can see over here we've got all the DHL aircraft all stuck in there. The main terminal is directly ahead and then over here there it is there's the all important power station with the steam coming out and this is East Midlands with the UK 2000 scenery installed and also with Active Sky. There's the power station over there, one of the landmarks for coming in for landing. And my frame rate Not brilliant, but 1920 is showing. There's a lot of detail on this. But I'm rather encouraged by all of this. Not bad. Anyway, I just wanted to give you a quick update to show you where I'm at and what is happening. Yes, I know I shouldn't have messed with Flight 2. Then I would be flying today. But I couldn't resist it. I needed to find out if I could. A new clean out would do some wonders. And it has. I now have UHD monitors. <laughs> Who would have thought? Oh well, good. We'll see you next time with a flight. Are you ready? <laughs> okay, bye.